got an electric motor that you want to use, but it starts slowly or doesn't start at all, and it sounds like it's going to trip a breaker when you plug it in, well, it's probably your starting capacitor. It's a quick video on how to replace them, diagnose it, and make sure that it works when you're all done. Thanks for watching. What I have here is a half horsepower motor, uh, a bow door motor, so it's pretty good quality. This came off a cement mixer that was sitting outside for how knows, who knows how long. You could see all the rust and everything on it. And it doesn't like to start. So let me show you here. When you plug it in. All right, you could probably, I don't know if you saw the, the lights dim, but there's nice little sparks that come out of the plug when you plug it in. And you could see that it's really struggling to spool up. Well, what it is, is underneath this little cap here on your motor, if you're having this problem, is you'll find a starting capacitor. And this starting capacitor, completely shot. So you can see where it's all broken off, the tabs broken off, and these two wires here, which I obviously have twisted together, go to that capacitor. But what you can do to test this real quick and to know if it's the capacitor or not, you can plug it in, get it spinning, give it a spin with your hand, and you can see it comes up to speed. And now it's normal. So what that tells you is that it's definitely the starting capacitor. You can hear a little click in here. Right there, you hear that little click. In the back here, there's like a little centrifugal clutch. And when it starts, it's in one spot. And when it gets up to speed, that clutch moves away and spins out because of the centrifugal force and, and kicks, up the, uh, kicks out the, the starting capacitor and it gets up to speed. But without that initial starting capacitor in there to charge up and provide that oomph to it, you can, uh, I'm sure you can find somewhere online that I'll explain the theory a lot better than, than I could, but that's what's going on. So through the wonders of Amazon, of course, I was able to go on and find another capacitor. Now, this capacitor is a little bit shorter. However, the ratings are the same. I went onto the Baldur's website and found this motor and was able to figure out what capacitor it needed and all that kind of stuff. So that's what I got here. And we're gonna go ahead, clean this up a little bit and then solder that guy in and then see, and that should be it, should work. As you can see, I got the capacitor on there. Now that's just, it's not soldered yet, just for proof of concept here to make sure the thing is gonna work. And uh, you gotta watch with these wires. You don't, they don't give you a whole lot of room here. So when you trim them back or cut them off, the old capacitor or whatever, just uh, be conservative and try to save as much wire as you can so you don't get it too short and then you're, you're done. You can't, uh, you can't do anything. So we're going to go ahead now, plug it in and it should spool right up with the new capacitor connected up. Yep, and it does. All right, so that's a beautiful thing, no problem. We'll go ahead and finish soldering it up, put it back together, and we'll be all set. Well, definitely not my best soldering job ever. All right, put the cover back on. I did clean it up a little bit, put the cover back on. We should be all set. All right, final test. Lovely. So that's about it. Really didn't take me much longer to do the job than it did for you to watch the video. So it's uh, pretty straightforward, pretty simple. So hopefully this uh, helps you guys out. And uh, that's all I've got. Thanks for watching. Cheers.